one more. I don't know where I put them. I'll have to remember to bring my bag of dice out here. It's so dark now. Nope, these aren't them. Look at my baby dice. I don't know where they are, but I have another set here that are new. Oh, they're these ones. One it's like a, it's like a gold. Oh wow! They're like tiger's eyes. Very yeah, they're though. like a like a goldy brown, kind of a bronzy black. Out of a... They're called monarch. And then I got a thing of teeth. Like a teeth. I got a little package of green tea with my dice. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. I love it. You're the ready best. for Among Us. The best hat ever. Perfect. Is it your birthday and you didn't tell anyone? It sure is. <laughs> you happy son birthday. of a bitch. Happy birthday. That's why you happy birthday. Yeah, now the game is canceled us. because you didn't tell us. It's over. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, got, I got nothing <laughs> planned for you now. I would have come up with something, but had I known. Alright. Yeah, that's all good. I just wanted to make a joke and, you know, found a stupid hat for it. I mean, it works. Yeah. So, you guys know how when we play uh, Among Us, I rarely get imposter. Mm -hmm. And when I do, I'm really bad at it because I never get imposter. Are you talking well, about the imposter where I killed somebody in front of somebody and was like, Well, I'm just going to vote myself <laughs> off here. Um, well, I got imposter twice, in what, it, twice when I was playing the other night. And then we decided to do hide and seek among us where there's only one imposter. And you're basically, you have... The imposter has small vision and the crew has large vision. And the crew has to, there's no voting off. The crew has to go around and try and finish tasks before the imposter kills everybody. Mm. I kept getting imposter. <laughs> and I was just, because comms can, you can still talk. I was, um, I was singing the Freddy Krueger song. <laughs> That sounds horrible. And everybody was like, Dido, stop, stop getting imposter. It's too creepy. Oh, that is, that is the best way to go about doing it. I mean, hey. Now I want to try that in the black and white mode where you just turn all the color off and everybody has the same name. So you can't be like, it was that guy. You have to be, it was light gray over there. Oh, no, that, that sounds awful. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> I, uh... Forgot what I was going to say. I'm getting into the line mindset already. Mm -hmm. Speaking of getting into the line mindset... Yes. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Um, remind me though, let's see, you all had gone to the only part, see, last time you all went and you met a Nimble, right? After a fireball went off in your street, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you had discovered that this, this Nimble right, Nimble right had created another Nimble right, and with the information you had gathered, uh, it seems to point towards a, a wooden figure of, a wooden humanoid figure that had caused this fireball. Um, 
killing off a number of individuals, with some of which you identified as uh, members of um, the Zentara. Uh, speaking, sort of speaking, with the Nimbarite, as the Nimbarite cannot speak, but makes signals with its hands, using sign language. You're able to... You're, they provided you with a nimble right detector, which works on any nimble right except for the one you had met, the one who is cleverly named Nim. I believe you all had met with some contacts and then ended up in the dock ward after visiting the yawning portal. Now, this is what I need to be reminded of. Is there... When, when you had met... When you had met with Savra, did you mention the... Seeking the Nimble Right? I... Don't believe yes. so. Well, she gave us a thing to find it and told us to find it. No, that was the letter. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't oh. think we. I don't think we mentioned what happened <laughs> in Troll Skull. Okay. Mm. We vaguely mentioned an attack and that there was entire members involved, but we didn't go into detail about the nimble rights. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think. Don't trust me on that. <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, but you all are. Uh, you all are in the in the dock ward when uh, the nimble right detector started to go off. Uh, ping where we are, so you can move the map over. Shifting. Oh. <clears throat> you all were like down here somewhere. Okay. But it's just it's a very weak signal. Line, line, it is reacting. I'm not sure what this means. What did you do to it? Did you push a wrong button? I was just squeezing it delicately, like you showed me. The little umbrella on it is uh, spinning slowly. And there's a, a little vibration to it. Uh, take to ten it. steps to the left. I take ten steps to the right. Uh, it moves slightly faster when you move to the right. It is enjoying our dance. Elizabeth, Eleanor, it, it's vibrating. Uh, more? Yes. It is reacting much more when I am over here. Well, continue onwards in that direction then. We will continue to list lazily to the right. And so you do. Uh, as you move, uh, it... And walk straight into a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're able to, to maneuver around corners and everything, but you make your way uh, to, uh, like, a, a small... Like, one of the... Like, a small beach area just located between the... Um, docks here, and it starts to move a little bit faster, a little bit faster, um, but you end up stopping by the water. Do, what, what do I see around? Are there, is there a... Make any of... A perception check. You see, there's a couple ships that are uh, that are anchored out into the water, um, and uh, uh, several that are uh, that are docked. You also notice that there is a there is someone surfing on the back of a dragon. How far away is the person surfing on the back of the dragon? Ways off. Eleanor would do that you thing know. where she's kind of leaning in, like, 
What is that? It's a dragon. We should go do that sometime. That looks... Do, do you have a dragon? Rose mentioned Maybe? she had a dragon. Oh, that's right. Perhaps it is so, friend Rose. So I don't, I don't see another Nim around. Um, Nor I, but the signal seems strongest near the water. It is very possible it has skipped aboard a ship and is stowing away, trying to escape its crimes. Mm. Does it read more? Um, just start looking at all the ships. Like, is, see if it reads more when you point it towards one of them. I'll just start slowly turning towards one than the other. It seems to go off into the uh, into the water into the water and she starts walking <laughs> okay um, as you start to uh, as you start to wade into the water um, the uh, this dragon starts uh, skimming through closer to the closer to the beach and you can hear some giggling uh, and laughter and uh, as they draw closer and just kind of like um, uh, and uh, and reach the uh, where the where the surf meets the sand. Uh, you do see it's indeed Rose, and um, uh, and the bronze dragon does kind. Of, it appears the dragon appears young, still very big, um, but as far as dragons go, um, they are they are on the younger side, uh, but. The uh, the figure Rose turns uh, turns around and scoops up uh, a smaller smaller figure uh, into her arms. Hey, can I ride your dragon? call out to her, uh, her ears perk up and she kind of like spins around holding this child and you see that there are like little bronze scales kind of uh, dotting her cheeks and shoulders. Um, but she looks at you and says, uh, why? We need to get this thing, I point to the umbrella thing, out to there. Um, and you see I do her? not breathe. I can go. Are you, st are you still going forward? Mm -hmm. No one stopped me. Okay. Um, Did we remember to rust-proof her? Uh, M Melody, do you rust? I do not know. We shall find out. D does anyone know mending? No. Shit. Nope. Remind me when we get back all haunted. Figure that out. So, but she, she, yes, no. Yeah, she maybe? she looks at you and says, you, "You'd have to ask him. He's he's my boyfriend, not not my dragon. I mean, he's sort of my." Um, but uh, this dragon kind of like uh, kind of steps forward and goes, "Oh, hey, dudes. Hi. We need to follow her with the thing out that way, and I know swim too good. Oh, Can shoot, I get a I ride?" Know. Yeah, I can help with that. Uh, but he like turns back to to uh, uh, Rose and says, and says, "I'll meet you back home." And um, you see, uh, you see the the three of them kind of uh, lean forward and like just kind of embrace each other. Um, but uh, Rose nods and starts. Uh, starts off gathering her things 
Um, but uh, the dragon looks back at you and says, Well, I'm Zelophar. Why? Nice to meet you. And uh, he says, he goes, So, uh, where are you dudes looking to go? Following. Can I see? She's underwater. Uh, <laughs> Completely submerged, but yeah, uh, yeah, probably like you just see the top of her cotton candy pink hair disappear into the water. Um. Uh, well, I think she went in that general direction. She's underwater now. Okay. Um. But you see. So the... I will try and keep an eye out. Don't oh. follow. You need to worry about me. You need to worry about me. And um, you see I'll move forward and kind of like dips a wing so you all can climb on. Oh, well, thank you kindly. Um, and as you do, uh, Zelfarn turns and kind of wades back into the water, but uh, as his wings spread, he suddenly just bolts forward and starts moving rather rapidly. Um, pauses once he's like right above uh, uh, right above I need to remember everyone now oops wrong page uh, once they're right above medley so I'm gonna use my uh, silent speech how you doing down there is it still is it vibrating I'm pushing the button still it is vibrating a little bit more. Zelophar um, kind of like lifts his head and looks back. And he's like, look, dudes, I, I don't have all day, but I can scoop your friend up and... Sure. That would likely be faster than waiting patiently for her to resubmerge, or rather, reappear. Righteous. And the tail slips, slips down and scoops uh, Medley up and puts her on her back. Um, oh, hello. I am Medley. Hey, dudette. Hi. Technically not a dudette. Dude? Technically not a dude. I'm going to call you dude. Okay. Uh, but uh, once more, the wings spread, and with your direction, uh, he does come up to... He does bring you all over to a boat, um, at which point the the uh, nimble right detector starts spinning much faster. Um, uh, but after a moment, uh, Zelfarn like pokes his head up again and goes, "Oh, hey, dudes!" And there are a couple sailors who kind of like peer over the edge, and there and uh, one of them looks down and goes. Uh, yes? This device is ready to climax. And she points it out as it's re reacting really <laughs> rapidly. Did I say that right? Perfectly. The sailors look down. Like or like, the sailors look at each other and, and then back down. It's like, uh, can we help you? Yes. How? We are looking for a nimble right. This device is climaxing in the direction of where it is hiding. Uh, they look at each other again and, uh, and then kind of like mutter something to each other. One of them runs off for a moment. Um, and then the one speaking to you says, uh, hang on just a minute. Um, a moment later, they return and say, all right, y'all can come aboard. Thank and you. They toss a, a rope ladder down for y'all. Thank you. Yeah, no oh. problem, dudes. I'll let somebody else go up first. I'll um, go up first. That works. Elizabeth will go up second. I'll go up third. I'll go last. And once you all start to climb, Zelopharn dives again, and a moment later bursts from the water and starts to fly. Uh, back Hi, in the thank you. That was so cool. Um, 
he turns around and just kind of gets away and he's like no problem stay righteous and spins around in the air and starts flying off uh but uh the sailors kind of uh talk to you and they say uh you've been invited to dinner um you'll get to meet the captain of the ship oh well that brings us to the nimble right uh yes excellent i will provide entertainment sounds great um but they the the two sailors um uh spin around and start leading you off um so uh where are you all from water deep over there boulder's gate well technically yes boulder's gate as well but primarily over there i was built here I live here now. All right. Um, but they lead you. Uh, is anyone doing anything or um, anything else or just following? I will follow. I'd like to... Oh, get one. I will follow. Eleanor is absolutely going to be looking around the entire time like, okay, sure. this That's is pretty sure. weird. Yeah, I'd like to... Like... I was on a pirate ship for quite a while. Can I try and find the telltale tell signs of, like, whether this is a cargo ship or if it's a, like, uh, combat vessel? And kind of eye the crew up and down? Yeah. Um, perception or investigation, whichever you prefer. Perception it is. Fuck. <laughs> It's been a while since I've been at sea. Yeah. Um, you do not see anything. Uh, uh, oops. You know, yeah. I can provide a different kind of entertainment. And I pull out my pipe. I'm not sure if they want to do that while working. But uh, maybe at dinner. Yeah. Well, they're I mean, they're, they're, they're anchored. That is fair. Uh, Less boating accidents so maybe... happen while anchored. Uh, but they do. They they chuck a little bit and lead you on. Uh, Eleanor, you... Elizabeth, you don't see anything. Uh, Eleanor, <laughs> you see... You notice that this ship is really well kept. Um, it's... It's... You notice it has a, sim a similar design to... Uh, a pair of other ships that are closer to the docks, uh, or that are docked at the uh, at uh, close to the beach. Um, this one appears a bit larger, uh, but as you're moving, you're all led into a much finer room. So, uh, as you're led into this this dining cab uh, mm -hmm. cabin, it's decked with golden filigree, there's purple curtains, uh, with, like, with, uh, silk tassels, there's wood paneling, uh, the wood paneling has a faint scent to it, and there seems to be food being, uh, laid out rapidly, uh, in preparation. It looks like like upon your arrival they're able to quickly pull this together so they're very well organized and all this food is being laid out on golden platters it's mostly it's mostly uh it's mostly food that's easily prepared but um it's it looks like it's not the full the full feast and standing behind all of it, there's uh, with a there is a scantily clad man with scarlet apparel, and it as it flows around him, it's designed to show off his trim figure and bountiful chest hair. There is a fairy flash rapier at his side, and as he spins around holding a glass of wine, he goes, ah. Welcome aboard the eye catcher. Indeed, quite eye catching. Mm hmm. 
took the words right out of my mouth. I am, aren't I? Yes. So does the Lord, at your service. And he gives a very deep, exaggerated bow. Registering. Sardaz Zord. Sardaz Zord? Oh. And she and Eleanor give a very polite bow back. That's right. Well, why don't you all have a seat? We'll bring, uh, uh, we'll bring along the main course shortly. May I play music? By all means. Would you like some of my pipe? Mm, perhaps a bit later. She's gonna, uh, like, press a button, and, like, bagpipes are going to appear, and, like, the little exhausts come out of her back, and she's just gonna start playing. Alright, when we perform. Her chest just, like, opens and inflates a little bit. Yep. Yeah, basically, she it's like she's doing an armpit fart, but it's just <laughs> bagpipes. Uh, do, does my thingy give me bonuses for performance or was it just uh, my no, I think it was just my talking I thought, um, yeah okay um, I'm going to give myself bardic inspiration because now that I've done this bit I don't want it to fail okay yeah see I called it <laughs> I called that early okay 15, 15. alright it's pretty good um, but uh, oh I should have uh, it should be because I didn't roll uh no, never mind. Uh, I would have played the instrument, but it's all the same because yeah. it's performance. Yeah, yeah, fifteen. Uh, it's it's pretty decent. Um, Zardes does take a seat and he seems to smile and uh and watch you as watch and listen as you play. Uh, he does keep. Uh, you do notice, uh, particularly you, Eleanor, uh, with your higher perception. Uh, you do notice that while he's paying very much attention to. Uh, uh, to Medley, he's also keeping like a f he's keeping a furtive glance on everyone. Um, uh, but he he listens, and by the time you complete your performance, he sets the wine glass down and just like leans back and claps. Wonderful! It's fantastic. I'm gonna use my uh, silent speech to say to Elizabeth, you know, I thought it was common courtesy to at least offer your guests a drink. Well, that's silent speech. Would have. <clears throat> um, well, I'd imagine there would be wine and all that set out on the yeah, table. Yeah, you do see that he there is wine set out on the table. You do see that he hasn't uh, uh, taken a drink from his glass yet. Um, but he looks at everyone and says, Well, what brings you all here? We are looking for something. Is that so? Correct. It is why I stated it. And what is it you are seeking? A nimble right. We have this device. It climaxed in the direction of your boat. And she holds up the it is still spinning quite rapidly. She holds up the Nimrod. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, um... Dang, that would have been a better name for that device. Wizards are just a <laughs> golden opportunity. They, they... You blew it, Wizards of the you, Coast. You blew it. Um, no, they call it, they call it Nim's Secret. I mean, that's still just as dirty. That's, that's the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Nim's the secret. Uh, the but, secret of Nim. The uh, secret of Nim. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, they... Uh, he, he looks at all of you and says, Well, um, the Sea Maiden's Fair is owned by me. It's a, it's a seafaring carnival based in Muskin. Uh, we go up and down the sort of coast and provide wholesome entertainment. And but you said it was a fair, not a carnival. Fair as F A I R E. Yes, a fair, they... not a carnival. Eleanor will stop me. It, it, it depends on where you are. That the the name is different. Oh, I see. 
Well. She doesn't see. <laughs> <laughs> we we do we provide uh, entertainment in the form of uh, fantastic street parades. Um, you mentioned you're looking for a Was nimble, it? right? Did your did your nim cause the parade on our street? I'm sorry. It was quite an explosive well. event. No, no, no. Well, we haven't. I, I mean, some would say it was fantastical. It is incredibly fantastical. They left with a bang. Hmm. A and very, a little bit of a boom. very large one. I heard about this. Uh, it happened earlier in the day, didn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Many people died. It happened right outside where we were, where we moved into. It's very sad. And this detects was... the thing that did it, and it brought us here. Well, I do have nimble rights aboard my ship, but they are nimble perfect. rights plural, plural. But they're perfectly harmless. Uh, they haven't left the ship. Actually, they don't leave the ship except for the parades. And as he talks, the uh, the Nim secret that you're holding um, uh, vibrates faster, and the little umbrella flies off. No wonder it was climaxing so enthusiastically. It was handling more than one. And as it floats, as the umbrella floats down and clicks back into place because it's magic, um, uh, a nimble ride does lean over and pour uh, wine for each of you. There's actually two of them. She holds up Nim's secret towards it. Fine. It is climaxing at the sight of this nimble, right? I see. Do we punch it? No, oh, we would. Look, if if it's capable of blowing up a giant chunk of people out in the city, you don't want to have anything happen here. It's a very nice boat, and we're all in it. It is a fantastic boat. It is fantastic, I won't lie. And you are also in it. We are in it. Chances of survivability to increase it. significantly while we are inside the boat. Speaking of, well, are your nipple rates capable of such destructive feats? They seem like plain servitors, if anything. They are. Uh, they are capable of combat if it's mm, if they're told to, but. These ones are unarmed, and I don't use them for combat. They're just parade. Uh, I will insight that. Go ahead, insight. Yeah. Do same. it, you won't. I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon too. I believe them. So do I. I have no reason to doubt his charming chest hair. Uh, for everybody. Uh, well. For medley and line, um, kind of hard to read. He seems interesting. Uh, Elizabeth, Eleanor, you don't detect any lies in his voice. So, Mr. Zord, do, do you provide extracurriculars at your fantastical parade? Extracurricular, I'm open to ideas. I am working on a prototype that I could supply to you for your carnival. Carnival goer people. A prototype. A prototype of what? Well, I don't have the exact prototype, but it is this. And I hold out the, the pipe of the shrooms. Mm -hmm. But a uh, hundred times stronger. And it makes everything look perfect. Um, oh my god, she's trying to battle drugs on this boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can see Eleanor's like, oh my god, I get right here. He, he we still don't know if this is a naval sting. Yeah. Drinks the whole cup of water. <laughs> He does reach out for the uh, for the pipe if you let him have it. Will you let him have the pipe? 
Well, yeah, I offered it to him when we first walked in. <laughs> he'll he'll lift it, smell it, puts just a little bit on his uh, on his finger, puts it in his mouth, tries it. Uh, you see him light it. He doesn't put it directly into his mouth, but he whiffs it. Hmm. So it makes everything purple, you say? Yes, that that one does not. But the one I made, is, it does. Makes everything look... Uh, you see him think for a moment. Has this been approved by uh, the Alchemist Guild? I can get it approved. <laughs> Maybe. Not yet. Working on it. That... Well, in such a private conversation, that doesn't need to come into fact, uh, come into play now, does it? That all depends on the circumstance. I, well, I mean, if I tell the Alchemist Guild, I'll have to share some of the profits with them. And then I'll have to give the recipe to other people. I don't want to... And of course, less profits means we'll have to charge more for our end consumer. You don't seem like an arc. <laughs> Or are you? Yeah, you don't seem like a narc. I might know a few buyers. I'll need a sample, though. Sample? I can provide. I just need one night. I have not been home all day. <laughs> Except for when the explosion went off and we had to try and, you know, sew arms back together. That sounds yeah. terrible. Yeah. It's a good reason to go to the pub for lunch. And breakfast. And dinner. You're usually just at the pub. So your number rights have been here the whole time. How long have you been in town? I'm... She's trying to sound tough. Oh wait, what's what was that now? She asked how uh, long we've been in town. Uh, we've been here before. Uh, it's been it's been a couple weeks since we made anchor. But we always stop in Waterdeep. I'm truly curious if this oh, is a party vessel. <laughs> Do you have any issues with pirates up and down the coast? They might see this as a rather open target, don't you think? Oh, no, certainly not. Especially not with that bronze dragon in the harbor. Or several nimble rides capable of combat. Well, my crew is also very capable. Yes, but nothing can defeat the cold-hearted efficiency of a nimble ride. And what is you designed for? Music. She just down with the bagpipe. Just music? Yes, my capability of killing has been reduced significantly. I see. Have you ever considered a parade? Yes, that is a type of performance. Before I go further. Why are you all interested in finding a nimble right? To be entirely honest, we're trying to get into the good books of the Temple of Gond, plus or minus about seven other people. Finding it would be very beneficial to us. Finding, uh, finding this nimble right? Yes, exactly. What did it do that that requires its finding? Well, we've already mentioned what we spent our morning doing. There were explosions and death. Yes. And people and seem to believe people. that the nimble right was responsible for this. They saw the figure f a figure fleeing from the rooftops. And it looked like that. Is the nimble right still in the room? 
the, if it is, that yeah, is what I pointed they're to. They're moving. They're moving. Uh, they're taking like uh, whatever food you finished and offering uh, offering more and pouring your wine. One of them is and, probably just yeah. parked behind Elizabeth, just holding a jug of wine, waiting for her to finish. Like fucking. I got my pipe back, seconds, right? Another one. <laughs> she just got a She's slowly tilting them. She's asking. I got my pipe back, back, right? Yes, he returns it. Of course, we're not necessarily blaming your crewmates. This could yeah, be a separate entity. I can assure you that it is very much a separate entity. The nipple rights upon my vessels have uh, not left. I'm yes, and they're this. very well behaved. Another one. Thank you. Continues to pour. <laughs> uh, is there anybody else not on this ship that can corroborate your story? Anybody not on the ship? Yes, I imagine that anyone on the ship will tell us what you want us to hear if it were a lie, not that it is. Mm, you can ask the dragon. Very well. Or at the Maybe very least, could we... Or at the very least, us. could we... In... Yeah. At the very least, could we inspect the nimble right that this thing is detecting? Go ahead. I'm gonna hold it up. Oh, yeah, and I'll, Eleanor will follow it to the one that it goes off to. What are what are we looking for? I do not know. Perhaps signs that it was not on the ship. I do you expect to find a gravel or something on it could its footpads? It could be something. I, there wouldn't be I, on the boat if it hasn't left. I will help check the nimble sure. to see if they've been off of the ship. Someone give me whoever's checking an investigation with advantage because you're helping. 19. 19 or 19? Maybe the 19. Maybe. My guess is they look clean. No gravel, no no dirt or anything. Not even any, like, sea salt? Huh? No. Not even, like, any sea salt? Oh, sea salt? Yeah, there's definitely sea salt. It looks like they've only been on the boat. I don't see any signs of dirt or mud or feces. Where do they go when they're not here attending the people? Like I said, they don't leave the ship unless uh, unless we're doing a parade. It occurs to me, the letter at the Temple of Gond happened to mention that these are awfully frowned upon. Yeah. If you don't mind my asking, of course, how did you come upon, no, come across these individuals? Let's see. Uh, and let's I'm see. not, it, I'm not starting... blaming you of anything. I'm purely, no, purely no. curious. It was uh, from the uh, distant island of Lantan. Have you, have you been there? Uh, we visit about once a year. Um, no, but I think it, this is the second time today that I've heard that name. Lantan? No, nah, probably not. I've had about 17 drinks between breakfast and now. That is fair. Well, during the last vision, uh, visit, I uh, purchased four of them from a Latinese wizard. But there are only two. There are two aboard this vessel. Where are the other two? Account for the other two. Yes, they are on the other two vessels. And they have not left either. That is correct. Is there anyone who can corroborate this claim? You can speak to any of the crewmates. You can speak to uh, the dragon if you want. We These other vessels, have they been docked or have they been weighing anchor out in the harbor? I have two that are docked currently. Uh, Shane, what part of the dock ward are they on? Are they in the area of the dock ward that my contact has been hanging out on? No. They're a little bit further north. Okay. Yeah, they're like... 
they're like up in this area. Uh, your contact was like down here. Okay. Well, uh, we haven't left yet. We've been making preparations for our parade through the through the uh, the city later along uh, along the way of the dragon. I mean, these two number rights, it doesn't look like we've been off the ship yet. Or at all for a while. Yes. The story is quite believable. Yes. We can check the other two. Believable. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, what Again, was that? I do apologize for leveling such a line of questioning at you after you've been so graciously invited us aboard your ship and into your dining hall. No, I find myself fascinated by the individuals and the cities we stop by. It's not often that someone actually comes out to the boats themselves in the back of the dragon. I'd imagine it's not often that they get such a privileged invite. Well, I'm happy to host. Do you have any other questions? No, I am convinced. I did have something, but I was going to throw Dido onto the bus, but I've ran off. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm afraid... Would, would, it, would it be too much to ask that if you find any... Perhaps somebody happens upon something on the boat that says one of these number rights has effect um could we leave you with information to contact us sure how might i get you know oh you can actually meet us tomorrow morning at the spirit tap and i can bring you a prototype i'm sure that can be arranged I, I see to Eleanor, right? We don't want to met our actual plans? You can, it's... I mean, it didn't get blown up. Plus, all of our correspondence is already going to the spirit tip. <laughs> it's a good meeting spot, and it's right across from where we are, so it's easy to get to. So, uh, just as I understand it, you're looking for this nimble right, this rogue nimble right, because... It has caused trouble, and you're trying to get in good with the Church of God. Mm, yes. That is a stretch, but yes. Well, at least somebody is. As previously stated, we're trying to help out many people. We've come into a lot of jobs lately. We've had a busy week. Another of which, one of my contacts has heard of the return of the Black Viper. Adam, I don't mean to say that you share business with a thief or anything, but being such a charismatic individual, you might happen to come across people here and there. I don't suppose well, you'd know of them. Everybody knows the story of the Black Viper. Do you know the story of the yeah. Black Viper? Everybody yeah. knows the story I, of the Do Black I know Viper. the story of the Black Viper? Well, check. Yes, the Black yeah. Viper. You're T20. Yeah. Do I need to take part in that, or did um, Savra tell me enough? Uh, you were to find out information about them, because the Black Viper was originally... Well, gone. presumably thought dead. Pres yeah, presumably thought dead. So, uh, let me just pull up their information real quick. Here we are. So, for the 20, well, for anyone who's got the, uh, yeah, for everybody, uh, the Black Viper is, or was, a notorious burglar, pickpocket, mugger, assassin, but they died a century ago. Um, what you... Uh, for a line, who rolled a 20, 
Um, you would have, you would have, had, you would have overheard things uh, or some whispers that the Black Viper has returned. They're robbing, they're or they're targeting nobles or people of wealth. I mean, from what I heard, they're targeting noble. I've also heard that they themselves were originally a noble at one point. I would watch your back, Zordon. I don't remember his name. Oh, don't worry, I can do it myself. Yes, I wrote down Z. Like the letter Z. <laughs> that Zard is all. Zord. Hey, my comments are you and your princess ship. I'm sorry, what was that? that was oh, I. They might come after you and your pretty ship out here all alone. Oh, I'm not concerned. I do appreciate the, uh, uh, the, the concern for my well-being. Why would they be worried? They have two, no, four killer nimble rights. Yes, I'd be helpless without them. And as he says that, he's like spinning like one of the dinner knives around in his hand. Truly, truly helpless. Yes, so would I. Fill it up again. <laughs> I mean, Lime is also yes, drinking, the, not quite as much as like, Elizabeth. Yeah, the decanter's like completely empty, it starts to pour, there's nothing left, it looks in and then just walks off and about two minutes later comes back with another one. Well, you know, what time is it? Do you what read? time of day is it? Uh, it's pushing into the evening. Early evening. We... We it's, have other it's, things it's to like, do. It's like late afternoon. We gotta still find the one we're looking for, and... And I think we got some wood things to do, and and we got to tell them about the lady and her cat. There's a long list, and the day is short. That's all right. I understand. Uh, my men can ferry you back to the uh, back to the docks. And, Much appreciated. Yeah, and so they're able to they're able to row you back to the docks and for you to to disembark. Um, what do you all do? Stumble because I just hammered about fucking yeah, ten Yeah, we'll constitution one. check by the way. <laughs> Ooh. All right, you don't vomit, but you're definitely drunk. So do, do I see the dragon around anywhere still? Not currently. Do I know that they live across the street? Um, <laughs> uh, that's for you to infer. <laughs> uh, but no, when you look, when you look. Uh, out into the into the harbor or across or out up into the sky you 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 see griffins flying around uh, with people on their back uh, but other than that no um. is that an oddity for the city or is that fairly common that's normal the that, uh, that's cool. yeah that's the guard yep makes sense all right well that was a bust should we go try and Swindle Moit for some money. <laughs> yes. I mean, let him know that we rescued the cat. Oh, all right. For that, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can help us with our other problem. That wouldn't be bad. We still have to look into this necromancer business. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, necromancer business. I need to also plant some shrooms and make another prototype. 
Eleanor will nod at the question that yeah, I was contacted that apparently there's a, a necromancer raising the dead from the graveyard. Oh, yes, I remember that fucko. Oh, I won't go easy on that piece of shit. They, uh, do I do I know where to? Did they say where to let them know that I took care of the issue? We took care of the issue. Uh, for the Harpers. Uh, the most secret organization. Yeah, the most secret organization known as the Harpers. Um, yeah, the Hop. The Hoppers. You. Let's see, y'all received the wizard book already. Yeah, um, Eleanor has. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's just a matter of either stopping by uh, Mert's estate or or hoping to catch them in the in either the yawning portal or the spirit tap. Um, are we close to the yawning portal? Um, very. Which is like yes. three blocks away. You are relatively close. Well, you know, let's check the yawning portal, and maybe our cum sucker will go off again, and we can find who we're really looking for. Yes. And go find a necro. Our so list is I could use longer. another drink. You're drunk and you need another drink. <laughs> I'm thirsty. All right, so yep, you all head to the dock ward. Um, as you uh, as you approach, you do see, um, or as you enter, you do see that uh, Mert is indeed there. Um, he does. He is. Uh, he was talking with uh, with a halfling, but after a moment, he turns and he actually seems to be heading for the exit. Um, but he stops and goes, "Oh, well, if it isn't my friends, I am white." And how are you doing, little lady? I would doing, be doing better if we could find what we are looking for. Fantastic. But we did rescue the cat out of the tree. Well, that's great. I heard Uza say something about a monster, but I'm glad her cat is safe. We do owe her. And using uh, silent speech, I will ask, do you know anything about the, the Zentarum and a little gnome person that died this morning? The Zentarum and a little gnome person that died this morning. Right, it was the Zentarum, right? Yes. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, we do know that the Zentarum is running rampant uh, throughout underneath the city. Uh, they have been causing problems. Why they would be down Troll Skull Alley now, that's curious. It sounds like maybe these Zentarum were after this known fellow. Do you know anybody that can speak to a dead person? Oh, I know plenty of people that can speak to dead people. You think you could speak to the dead people for me? Maybe find I out what? I can't speak to dead people for you. But, but can your people who can people? Yes, that normally costs money, but for you, since I got two of you working for me, it would be a discount. Uh, they need to be able to provide components, you see. Uh, but uh, let me see. Let me pull up speak with the good. I mean, I have, I have money. Here we go. Here we go. I like how nobody tries to stop me from spending the money that I have. Elizabeth is over sleeping on the bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So all they I... really need is all they really need is is uh, incense to burn. Um, normally, the incense is round. You know, tingle, but we'll knock it down to 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 just just a measly five gold. They'll be able to to cast the spell for you, and you can ask your questions. Any questions? Like twenty questions? Normally, it's five questions per spell. 
So, Eleanor, since Elizabeth is asleep, mm-hmm. she's not entirely. Do we want to probably mumbling to herself like while fucking? Do we want to? Do we want to talk like... to just the gnome? Do we want to talk to the gnome and the and the the, the Z guy? How much money am I giving Moit? Oh, hey, Moit. Yes. Can you get us one of those flying things? What kind of flying things? I don't know. What was that thing we saw? Flying around the city? You mean the griffins? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of those. I like how my accent has now changed. (laughs) The presence of Moit is powerful. (laughs) The presence of Moit is most powerful. Um... I can't. They're normally uh, maintained by the guard, but I might know someone who can. Uh, if you talk to, um, oh, shoot, what's her name now? Um, it's uh, Bella. Bella something. Sabra or something. Hey, we already saw her. Why didn't... I'm gonna go up and smack Elizabeth on the face. Wake up! Uh, what? Dernan! I'm sleeping. She looks up. Dernan's over there pouring beer. Yep. He, this is weird. He's pouring the beer. He just goes... Mm, yep. Why didn't, ask, why didn't you ask your what? lady friend? Why didn't you ask your lady friend about... An easier way to get around the city to find what we're looking for. Uh, go back, my lady friend. I will. When he says go back, I will walk back to to <laughs> Moit. <laughs> Elizabeth just like picks up the pint that's been left in front of her by Dern and just fucking. <laughs> <sighs> fucking can't get a good sleep in this city. Nope. Uh, then she'll stumble over to the table, I suppose. Uh, make me another constitution save at disadvantage. Disadvantage? I've only had a beer and I've had a good sleep. You've been drinking a lot. (laughs) It wouldn't have mattered. Um, you fall. Like, straight on your face. You stand up and everything spins. Hey, yep. not yet. Okay, I succeed the will see, uh, save to decide to actually stand up. I don't just fucking roll over and go back to sleep. Okay. I stand up and go over to the table. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do stumble significantly. It's very obvious. You're 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 inebriated. Eleanor would do that thing where she like slides the chair out with her foot so Elizabeth doesn't have to go too far forward. <laughs> you're doing uh, great, sweetie. You're doing great. <laughs> Now what were you saying? Mike said that we can get a, a flying thing from uh, Sabra to help us find the thing we're looking for. I, I mean, you might be able to. I can point you towards a contact, is what I'm saying. You have a contact in the gauntlet. I have contacts he's everywhere. Not, he's I'm a white. harper. I am... That's right. I'm a member of the Harpers, the most secretive organization. Uh, I don't tire of that saying. (laughs) So, once we achieve getting the flying thing, as you put it, what what exactly do we do with it? Well, we put Medley on top of it with the cum sucker to find the thing we're looking for. cover more of the city faster you know we have lists that just keep piling up that we need to just get through bing bang boom uh, bing bang boom yes yes seems reasonable enough to me I can speak to Savra again in the morning yes 
do. All right, so we're gonna get a flying thing. Well, good luck with that. Thank you for pointing us in the right direction. Oh, Wait, well, how no. about the talking to the dead guy? Yes. Do we have to be there? Or do we just give you our question? Uh, you would probably want to be there to convey your questions more accurately. Should we do but that if you tomorrow? Would like to write them down, uh, I can. I can have someone. I, I can have someone send over. Do you know where they, where the person you want to speak to is? Last we checked, they were. <laughs> Hardly more than a puddle on our street. Hmm. Hey, shouldn't you be able to speak to dead puddles? Hey, believe me, I certainly tried. Hmm. Well. I imagine they would have, uh... They would have the bodies in the morgue by now. We'd probably have to go to the city of the dead. Or what's left of their bodies. Correct. Their in the morgue. Mm -hmm. I know where that is. Been there many, many times. probably has as well. All those times she had to deliver corpses there and just leave them out the front and run away. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's... <laughs> so do I give you the gold now? Or wait till we get there? Uh, you would provide the gold for uh, whoever's going to be casting the spell. Um, oh. I can send a message and have them sent over there right now if you'd like. Well, I think we've got a necromancer to deal with tonight. That sounds awful. And I need to brew tonight. So I think we're going to have to wait until tomorrow. Do you think we have time tonight? Well, that's up to you, little lady. I'm asking the group, do we have time tonight to talk to dead people? I could squeeze some time in for dead people. Elizabeth is leaning on her elbow again. Hey, Elizabeth, want to see a dead body? <laughs> I sent flowers to kill you. How important are your necromancers, Eleanor? Yes. How important? Well, I assume it's not something that's needed to be done in the next five minutes, but... Probably want to take care of it quickly. The camera sweeps to the side, and we see a skeleton stabbing someone repeatedly. <laughs> oh no, my hindsight! Rattle, boys. <laughs> you chose the wrong month to be to be out and at night. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess we can go talk to the dead guys. And then the necromancers, if we have time? Alright, I'll have someone sent over then. Um, you can meet them at the morgue. Aye aye, Captain. I, however, have an appointment at the Spear Attack. Ah, yes. Assless Chap Tuesday. <laughs> ah, yes. Dinner time, is it? <laughs> yes. Alright, so what are y'all doing? Um, real quick. After fighting the Gazer, we've pretty much only been, like, drinking, pub, drinking again. Yes. Uh, uh, would that count as a short rest? Like, for the sake of spending time. Yes, contest. I will, yes. Because um, you would have, you would have, you would have gotten that opportunity at the, at the boat. Fantastic, dude. Hey, that's better. Mm. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Could have just asked for it. Like, I hadn't said any spell slots yet. Because yeah. you have been drinking rather heavily throughout the day, you do have the poison condition. I'm like, wait. Yeah, I'm sorry, you failed your last constitution save. Yeah, true. I better switch off the hard liquor and, you know, switch back to the, the refreshing beers. <laughs> <laughs> or switch to the gin and tonic. That'll make me right in no time. All right. Here's some water. <laughs> Here's some hey. water. <laughs> gin and tonic here. includes tonic water. That counts. <laughs> it's like, here you go. Here's the gin and tonic. The gin will come later. <laughs> you better be telling me the truth, boy. <laughs> Alright, so y'all heading to the City of the Dead then? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Excuse me. So, you're all able to make it over to the morgue. Um, you see that there is indeed a uh, someone waiting for you there. Uh, they do appear to be a cleric of some sort. Um, but um, they kind of they kind of gesture and say, Ah, Mert, uh, sent word. Are you... Yes, you fit the description. All right. Um, the guard has already been notified that you wanted to ask some questions to a corpse. Let's go. Okay. Do we know what we want to ask the dead people? I hope so. You hired me. He holds out his hand. Yeah, good luck there, Skipper. Oh. Just pretend that was a more feminine voice than Elizabeth. <laughs> He's just going to go and lead up. Get no, 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 no. She just left the persona <laughs> slip. <laughs> She's just going to walk up to them. Lean against the wall and like slide down in that slow, drunken <laughs> state <laughs> until she just like sits in a fucking bowled up, uh, like uh, in a bowl, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Natalie, Eleanor, do you know what we should ask the dead guys? Well, probably why they were out there. Did they see anything like that attack them? And I can't think of anything else. Why are you dead? Oh, I just noticed. That normally costs 25 gold. You're getting a heavy discount because you work for them. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. so also, it occurs to me that why? Why, went way back when. why were you killed? Do you want me to cast the spell now? Which one? No, we have to no, we have to figure out what we're gonna ask first. Alright. What else are we gonna ask? Why was he killed? What were you doing in Trolls Call Alley? What were you doing at our house? Okay, that's well, they two. Just, well they were just outside, not not at the house. They could have just been walking down the street when it happened. Okay. Well, they were outside our house. Whatever. Two. What else do we want to know? Why were you killed? What were you doing on our street? Who killed you? You get you get uh, three questions or five. I don't remember. Five. I was told. Let's see. Uh, who killed you? Mm. Why would somebody kill you? Why Why were you killed was one of them. Okay. I guess we can cast the spell and just make it up as we go along. Uh, the cleric holds out a hand for the money. Oh, yeah, I'll give him five gold. Good take it and uh Tony's like, okay, which body? The gnome. The G gnome guy. Alright, here we go. And he starts setting up the incense and starts to burn it and 
uh, as he goes about the ritual and casts the spell, uh, you see uh, from the incense uh, it all kind of uh, coalesces and then like like goes down the throat of this charred corpse, and you see you see it kind of go. And its head just turns and stares at the cleric. All right, what's your questions? He asks of you. Which one should we ask first? Mm-hmm. Why? Who? Who or why? Eleanor, you should do this. Me? Me? No. Oh. <sighs> What were you doing outside in Charleston Alley? Um, Cleric conveyed this message, and then the body kind of just like wheezes and goes, There's a group of adventurers who rescued Lord Neverember's son from the Zintaro. I thought the Stone of Galore would be safe in their hands for the time being. I was on my way to deliver it, and planning to reclaim it later, after I had shaken my pursuers. Clark looks to you for your second question. What, did we ask what this stone is? Why was he trying to give some adventurers a stone? What is the stone of Galore? Claire conveys this message. I asked for them. The stone of Galore is the key to finding a horde of dragons hidden in the city. The dragon horde? Hmm. We know a dragon. Why couldn't we just have his horde? I don't think he would like you saying that about his girlfriend. (laughs) Do you know? Oh, go ahead. took it from you. There's... a pause and then I died before I saw Sorry, I didn't hear what that what you said. I died, died before saw. I saw. Mm. Do you know who would want to kill you? Many. So, we have one more. We know he was trying to give it to someone, and it will find a dragon horde and common denominator pretty boy sin. Well, I mean, pretty boy. Is the common denominator. Hmm. Do we have any other questions? For this poor little Nomi guy? Hmm. Where did you get the stone from? Um, they conveyed a message and the and the charred corpse uh, starts speaking again. I stole the artifact from the lair of a beholder 
known as Xanathar, in a dungeon far below the city. And then it just goes, and goes still again. Oh no. Well, damn it. Having a well, I guess we gotta walk. talk to the other dead guy. Having a lot of people. <laughs> Money, please. That's okay. I got it. I'll give him five more. Alright. Alright, which one? Uh, I guess, I guess one of the, Z the Zintarum guys, I guess. Picking at random? Sure. Okay. Uh, they cast the spell, and another one of the charred corpses, this one uh, human, goes... And then looks at the cleric. Did we win? Do you really want? Um, you know, I haven't had enough to drink today. Um, I guess, what is his and his buddy's name? My name. Who do they work for? My name is Beshek Ortalis. My companion is where Malgrave. That's one question. Um, then they ask uh, who he worked for. We worked for one named Urstul Floxen and resided briefly at the Grahan Villa. Growlhunt Villa? Yes. Oh, goodness. That doesn't sound good. History check on Growlhunt. They, do we know if they had the stone on them when their dead bodies were found? Do we know that? It did not appear to be. Um, you know, the Growlhunts are nobles. That's about the Growlhunts are nobles, thus owning a villa. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Why did why were you after the Nomi guy? Our job was to help catch a gnome named Delacar. Delacar had some kind of artifact in his possession, which according to Erstel would make them would make us all rich as kings. Hmm. How how many questions have we asked? Three. Okay. <laughs> Can we ask? What is your favorite color? <laughs> I'm kidding, she's asleep. Green. <laughs> and then it dies. Again. Got one more question. Do. I mean, they probably took it back to the place, right? Who. Who. I don't know. I don't know what to ask. Do we ask who took it? Do we ask where. Where it was taken? Can we ask how to get in? I mean, what do we ask? I'm not good at hmm. No? Is the peanut gallery closed? <laughs> it's always open for business. We need more nuts than just the one in my brain. <laughs> so, we know that 
they were working for the Drow Hunts. <sighs> Maybe we could... No. Hmm. Should I, should I ask what the Nubalric had to do with their plants? Don't ask that question yet. Mm -hmm. I say to the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, open his mouth and stop. Do you think it has to do with the same thing? I mean, I don't think they really wanted to die. But, I mean, I don't know. No, I imagine it is coincidence. I don't think the nimble right is connected either. Hmm. But maybe. I know what to ask. Who is in Shane's room? Who is in what? Who is in Shane's room? It's his he has family. Visitors. Happy birthday, birthday to boy. you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Shane. Dear Shane. Happy birthday, dear Shane. He's trying so hard to apologize while he's talking. Well, you know, it is break time, so why don't we let him handle his birthday stuff and we'll take five. Sounds good. All right. All right. It'll give us time to think of another question. Yep. All right. Stick around, folks. We'll be back shortly. Y'all made bad decisions having Lime in charge of asking the questions. I mean, look, you're asking all the good ones, so. <laughs> Eleanor would have panicked and been like, have you ever, have you ever heard of the Spirit Tap? <laughs> and that would have literally been it. They're going to go have sexy time in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Time to come up. I think we got all we needed out of the dead Zentarum guy. Let's hope so. I mean, we can ask a BS question. That'll be fun. I don't like being the face. This is not fun. <laughs> well, it's either you or the robot, so... Yeah, at this point, because Elizabeth has passed out on the stoops of the, the wherever we, the morgue. People are, we're going to have to go find, but there, she's going to have a toe tag by the time we, they're going to think someone just dropped a dead body. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okie doke.
came back. Frost, you haven't played Among Us in a, in a while. Yeah, no. I've either been too tired or someone's like, hey, go do something. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. My brother and his miso yeah. walked in, and I figured I could talk to them since I'm currently in a slump in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you know, my brother has the audacity to walk in and be like, So, you got a bottle of gin? No. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, can I have some money? I want to go and buy you a bottle of gin for, uh, for your birthday. <laughs> That's hilarious. So fucking I hand him a pile of notes I save, like, from the pub every week. Fucking, he flicks through it, counts it all, fucking, takes 200 fucking dollars! He'd want to get me a good bottle of fucking gin. <laughs> and you paid for it. Yeah, apparently. How much <laughs> fucking you asshole. Is he also getting you stock in the store? Jeez. Ooh, that would be sweet. That would compensate, uh, help me compensate for my fucking drinking. <laughs> I'm the liquor store owner now. I like how every time Shane mentions, t mentions taking a drink that Elizabeth is drinking, we both take a drink. <laughs> well, it's hard not to. You can't just, like, you know, simulate fucking having a drink. You have to, you know. Yeah. I mean, Lime was drinking too, not as much, but... Well, Elizabeth had, like, a servant literally standing over her shoulder the entire time, just fucking, yep, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else we should should ask this uh, this dead Zentarum guy? Hey, the gaming. I'm asleep. Plus, I didn't hear the rest of the investigation, so you're on your own with that one. Ah, uh, the interrogation, sorry. I mean, their I mean, their their stories check out. They were both after what was actually taken. Mm, the stone of something or other, I vaguely the, overheard. Yeah, the stone of Galahad. No, that's not right. Stone of Galore. Galahad is Galahad. one of uh, King Arthur's knights, isn't it? <laughs> Zora. Hey, you know. I don't write shit down because Lime doesn't remember shit. That's why dude was Zordon. <laughs> yeah, I don't write shit down because I hammered fucking 22 glasses of wine at fucking dinner. <laughs> it's like, that's why when I say shit wrong on accident, I just go with it. Because Lime probably actually did say it. Also, it occurs to me, despite being like... A career alcoholic. Fucking I'm kind of bad at playing an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't had time great. to do drugs. I've had roles. Luckily for all of you, Lesser Restoration is now a spell Eleanor knows. Hey, me too. <laughs> After almost condemning Rose to certain death, I've pretty much okay. taken it every single time. <laughs> like, we have not met Rose, correct? Um, Eleanor met her at the door like two days ago, but she didn't say much. Wait. Okay, didn't so I, Eleanor knows Lime that she lives Lime. across the street. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Uh, because you oh, did Rose come your purple concoction and Rose is the cook over there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, I okay. Warrior. See, because that's what I couldn't remember. Have I met Rose yet? Because she, because she kind of made it sound like I did, and I didn't remember. Because, like I said, I don't write shit down. Um, you yeah, have. It's just you know, it was probably a weird, like pink haired, drug induced, like yeah. vision you had one time. <laughs> Uh, 
Also, like a dipshit, I took Prayer of Healing, even though it's good for dungeons and shit, but I don't think we'll get much use of it in I don't, a city. I don't think so. Not when all of us have heals of some sort. That also true. <laughs> prayer of Healing is like, you know, the short rest of short rests. But you're also a yeah. cleric, so it's not like you're, you know, shit out of luck for picking it. You have all the spells. Well, when you say all, you mean... Literally all of them. Because <laughs> you True. have the whole spell list. So what'd you get? What's up? What did you get? When your folks came through. Yeah, uh, that was my brother and um, his miso. Yeah, boy, and I didn't get anything. I am now two hundred dollars shorter. <laughs> oh, happy birthday! <laughs> yeah, I was telling these guys, fucking. He came in and he's like, "Hey, mate, do you have any gin?" Hmm. No. Ah, damn! I was gonna get you a bottle of gin. Oh, so he, he Wait, used your money? So you were gonna steal my fucking bottle of gin and give it back to me? Yeah. Do you have any money? <laughs> fucking. <laughs> so I handed it over like my fucking spare change and he's fucking taking two hundred dollars the fuck oh i like I, how he has two hundred dollars in spare i was change. gonna say it's like <laughs> spare um, change uh. i am uh, weird every week when i get back from the pub i like stash all my notes and all my coins in a money box down there so i mean you know <laughs> i have an addiction if you would like to feed it mm-hmm <laughs> Also, at some point, check Steam. Chain. Hey, I thought I had Steam open today. Nope. That's weird. You were logged off. <laughs> I was playing Hades. No, that was yesterday. Sorry. Well. But yeah, open. I have a lot of money in my room just from, like, pub leftovers. <laughs> My money box is like fucking 10 kilos worth of coins, and I've got a mug over there with fucking about a thousand dollars in it. There's a there's a bar there uh, on the on the stream that needs to be filled. I'm just kidding. Don't don't give me money on your birthday. <laughs> what you're? Hey, I gave you like 500 bits yesterday for the chair fund. You did. I appreciate you. Um, and now you need to give him more, yeah, much well, more. Fucking, have you seen my shitty chair? Feed, feed it can't chair hold my weight anymore. I need to buy my own chair. <laughs> well, apparently, apparently you have enough money to do so. Ooh, fucking mm -hmm. banner lord, you sexy individual. I was fucking looking at this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. You have some good ones Thank on you. there. Thank you. You have some good sir. ones on there, so. It was a real toss up on what to get mm. you off your wish list. Fucking. I got pretty drunk and watched the escapist like indie game fucking preview a couple months ago hmm. and there was a bunch of really good looking games so i, I wish just uh wish listed like fucking 15 things <laughs> i hope this pie is still good it's about would make you think otherwise. it's about it's about two weeks in the fridge so eh, it's fruit should I'll, be fine it Fruit-ish. It's lemon ring. You'll know in five minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll know. Uh, I'll know in an hour. You can take a forkful, bottom of the crust, very, very green. Like I didn't get a lime pie. Oh. I mean, to be fair, that's probably one of the pies that you don't want to have leave, uh, sitting around for a while because meringue's just egg and sugar. Yep. Which is why I was like, I hope it's still good. <laughs> it hasn't it hasn't taken any weird colors, but. Oh, again, it's egg and sugar, so it won't take any weird colors. I mean, the egg will, but it doesn't smell off either. This big old piece of meringue. We'll remember you always. Mm -hmm. Remember me as I was eating lemon meringue. Yeah, died doing something he loved. Living. <laughs> <laughs> What is this, the, Shaw the Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> what you got, Dido? Kobe now. Chicken salad. Ooh. Sounds say, good. Say just scarfed down some tiki marsala I made yesterday. I did. 
I had a Vegemite sandwich. As you do. <laughs> the, the, yeah. bir- the birthday meal of champions. What is Vegemite? <laughs> it's a Vegemite is beer yeast paste. Spread. Yeah, it's a vegetable yeast spread. Ah, so, yeah. basically, when you make beer, you get all the beer out of it, then you just scrape the black, disgusting shit off the bottom. That's Vegemite. It's, it's how Australians get their vegetables. Okay. Yeah, it is a lot of vegetables in there, too. But that shit's good, man. Fucking, like, you eat a fucking Vegemite sandwich a day and you won't get assaulted by fucking, like, bugs. I don't believe it's that. Bug but... repellent? It fucking, well, it probably poisons the, like, your blood so they don't like, in, uh, they don't like biting you, but yeah, it works, man. Oh, see, I could see that. I drink some blood. Ugh! Nope, never mind. It's like feeding dogs a very small amount of garlic. It makes, I think, ticks and shit like that less inclined to bite them. That's a new one, too. Really? That seems fairly standard, but seems like to be fair, I, I do hang know. out with a bunch of farmer hicks. I grew up on a farm. So Maybe that's I'm just a silly thing this. to do in Australia, because, like, we all eat fucking Vegemite and drink a lot of piss, so we're used to poisoning ourselves. <laughs> Alrighty, are we ready? Yes. Yep. On that stimulating note. <laughs> on that stimulating note. So, y'all had been speaking to a corpse. You have one question left on your Speak with Dead. Have you come up with a question? Ah, shit, I knew we had something to do. Eleanor, Medley, do you have a question to ask? Mm, mm. Not the dead, no. Well, if you had the opportunity to come back from the dead, would you? Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> wah, wah. No. <laughs> that was the groans from the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well. <sighs> All right. So they stole the stone of Galahad from the Nomi. To get a horde of dragons to let loose on Waterdeep. Not quite. I don't think that's possible. So do we think they? Thank you, cleric guy. What was your name? Uh, let's see. Baron von Clerickson. John Clerickman. No. Constantine? Guy every cleric. Guy every. No. <laughs> John Cleric. Excuse me, it's John Clark. Oh, that's not nearly as good. Oh, from Luskin, okay. I, 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 not Clerics, you know what? Uh, if you're all done here, I'm just gonna go. Okay, bye. Yeah, done. Bye. Anyways. You should stop by the... That was a boring Hospital. conversation anyways. Well, was right. it enough to wake the dead? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what time of day is it, Shay? It is pushing into early evening. Um, the sun so is early evening. evening on the boat. Yes, you you are you are in twilight hour. Time to get some sleep. Figure out where this necromancer is, and then find out who these nobles are. And so what you they... would have been told that you needed to do, speak with uh, Sir Ambrose Everdon. A grizzled old champion of Kelmvor. No, we heard that last week. Oh, 
earlier in the day, technically. Yes. Never mind me, I'm still asleep. Yep. Mm. You, you would also remember... Well, no, actually, never mind. Go ahead and make me just a straight-up intelligence check. No. Oh, no. Alright, that's enough. Uh, you remember that you needed to speak with... Uh, oops, lost one. You needed to speak with Ambrose Everdon within the City of the Dead. Oh, well, we're here now. Go look for a Sir Ambrose Everdon. Was not given a time to talk to him, but... No, you were not. Uh, if you're quite finished here in the mausoleum, I am going to have to ask you to leave. Do you know where Sir Ambrose is? I do. He's standing five feet in front of you. Oh. Interesting. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Who are you? Did you hear us talking about you like you weren't in the room? I did. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were in the room. <laughs> well, somebody's got to, uh, has to, you know, keep an eye out in these. Why are you here? I mean, why besides talking here? to the to the body, I, I had to allow that. Counterpoint, why are you here? I work here. Touche. I <laughs> think you win this round. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gate eye narrow protocol. The, um, the Emerald Enclave asked me to seek you out to look into this necromancer business. What do you know about necromancy? Maybe me a persuasion check. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. He leans real close and invades your personal space, narrowing his eyes like, What do you know? that they told me there was somebody raising the dead here and needed to stop him? She starts, like, leaning back. Oh, wait. Oh, you what know if about someone the raising the dead? Sorry, what? What if they're the necromancer? <gasps> what if you're the necromancer? What she said. No, I meant you. Oh, what if you're the necromancer is what she said. I am not the necromancer. Do you romance necks? No, not a neck romancer, a necromancer. Hmm. What is the difference? One dabbles with uh, undead and. Uh, and the and other they... you do in the spirit tap. Yeah, exactly. Thursdays. Not that uh, I know. Hearing the spirit tap, Elizabeth will like vaguely open her eyes and she's like fully slumped out on the wall. Then she will like slowly collapse onto the ground. Hit the ground and fucking like blink a couple of times. Uh, the morgue. Ah, uh, fuck, not again. <laughs> then she'll sit up and like cast lesser restoration and pump some antioxidant, uh, anti intoxicants into herself. Cool. To get rid of that poisoned condition. All right. Well, you know, Eleanor, maybe you should let him know that we got rid of the. No, Emerald had... Enclave's straw person problem. The, the, the scarecrow things in the field. There was more than one, by the way. That was that was terrifying. There were several. Wait, I wasn't there. Uh, specifically three, she says, getting up. S still waiting for the lesser restoration to take effect. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you seem to know an awful lot about someone raising the dead here. Well, yes, uh, the bird told me. A little did, bird. Did, did she get anything from the other than the little... Uh, other than her charm of restoration, did she get anything to signify that she knows the Emerald Enclave? I don't think so. Oh, hey, did I get renowned for that, that yes, you did. thing? So, so those of okay. you who are who are members of the, uh, the, um, uh, of, um, the Hoppers. The Hoppers. The Hoppers. Yeah, you hey, get, you get an additional renown. So you just mark that on your sheet somewhere. You see him alone, Claire sent me. That puts us at two now, Dido. 
Yes. And these are my friends. <clears throat> For all I know, you could be lying to me. For trying all we to know, you could slip be lying your to way us. into into collecting bones for your devious needs. But why would I want well, to collect I mean, bones? First off, that's disgusting. Okay. But I agree. Why would you do, do that? I do I actually recognize this guy? Because I would assume Lime has made many a trip to the moor. Um You've probably seen them before. Whether or not you've actually interacted with them, that's a different matter. I mean, we've never really actually talked, but you... I do come here. I come here for my bones. So you're the necromancer. And the tissue. And these are your lackeys. No, I'm the alchemist. You're the necromancer. I, I don't think he'd be a necromancer if he was sitting here not raising the dead, watching perfectly good dead bodies go to waste. My job is to make sure that they don't become walking undead. Not in the city mm -hmm. of the dead. Not under Kellum try... Wars. Not under Kellum Wars mm -hmm. lands. And I, I completely agree. I'm here to help out with that. I, I don't I don't want the dead walking around. It's, it's disgusting. Revolting. Well, okay. It goes against the, all the, Calamboris views. Truly yeah, disgusting. well, it's the undead. Ugh. She says, the player knowing full well at level 6, the undead will start rising <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you have no business here. I must protect the city of the dead from these necromancers. Well, I mean, we, we do have business. I was looking for you. So you say. But here's the thing. So I say. don't believe you. Well, how do you... How do you well, then how about this? Or not? Wait, I have an idea. We can't set them on fire. What if... You believed us. 16. You make a strong argument. <laughs> what say I, can, I do? I, I can assure you that. What if you did? I am a follower. <laughs> I'm a dear ability. follower of Kalimvor. You, you have my word that necromancy is not very, very bad. Do you Please disregard the fact that I was just sleeping in the corner of the room. Do you show the uh, symbol? Uh, yeah, just pick up the amulet. It falls out with a flask of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I'm all out. Besides my rubbing alcohol, well, I don't have anything in my inventory. What if I did believe you? You know what? Then we can You're right. help with your necromancer you. problem. Thank yeah, you for opening all... my eyes. I do have a necromancer problem. Indeed. Ah, very good. Let's drink on it. She offers a little vial of, like, fucking disgusting rub uh, rubbing alcohol. <laughs> that oh, is not that for is... drinking. I mean, not unless you mix it with some tang. Now you be quiet. <laughs> Does anyone have tang? I don't want to just be ruining this. And anyway. Yes, we were. I'm here to help with this, this problem. Because I very much don't want the bones of people's families walking through the streets, that's horrifying. That is very horrifying. Uh, I've had to put down a couple of myself. Grace against humanity. It very indeed is. And it's an affront to Kelimbor himself. Um, every, every, once in a while, I'll come across uh, some skeletons. I could use a little help just uh, patrolling, the, uh, patrolling the city of the dead at night. Sure. Is there a specific time? Like bracket at night. Does that start tonight or tomorrow? Night? Tomorrow night it is. We will patrol the city of the dead. Yes. Fantastic. Patrol. I will see you here. Is... Dark and early, dark and late. At the beginning of the night, I have to start my shift. Very well. Thank you very no. much. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but... And I'm very, very well maybe wrong, I don't remember much, much of what happened yesterday, but... We didn't necessarily do anything too taxing besides getting blasted by a gazer. I think we're in full fighting capabilities. I mean, if you want to start now, we'll just sleep in tomorrow. That you know, sounds reasonable have any... to me. I'm well rested. Can we get coffee or something, just in case? Fine. Give me the... I'll give me some good. coffee. Thank you very Fine. much. Another one's assistant. We'll be back in a second. My hair wants to crawl into my mouth. Nom nom nom. Alright, well, so first... we're gonna go... Play in a... Play with dead people. Well, undead no, we, people? No, 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 we are not playing with dead people. Very much so. We... We are trying to not let somebody play with dead people, and if we find him, mm. we will bully him into non-existence. Alright, so if you're all going to do uh, some patrols during this night, go ahead. Someone roll me a d10. I got it. One! Okay. This happened okay, with the scarecrows, just... too. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, not much <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Max 10. Aw! Oh, damn it, I was hoping to be a 3. Alright. <laughs> That'd have been too funny. Another fireball yeah. hits you. Another fireball. Instantly. Oh no! I don't have evasion yet! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Everybody's dead. Ah, we're tiny. Elizabeth is so huge, it's the rubbing alcohol. Sorry about that. Look at how Bye. look at how cute Medley is. I know, it's look adorable. Look cute. Alright. Here's a structure and here's a structure and here's another one. Uh, my silly bird. It's currently out of its cage at the moment. Yep, it was bird. sitting on top of the like wooden door. And our fly screen door was closed, so it couldn't escape, but my brother wanted to come in, despite all the yelling he wanted to do, this bird just would not fly away from that wooden door. Here's the dirt road. Here's the stubborn one. You had a bird? Yeah, like all this time you're just now telling us you have a bird. Yeah, I have an Indian ringneck. No idea what that is, but awesome. It's a green bird with a red beak. Yeah, and I do like green. And red. And birds. And birds. Okay. Can everybody see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. There we go. All right. So you all start to make your patrol, and um, you go through the evening. Uh, it's several hours before anything happens. Everything seems dull and quiet, but you move uh, along the road, checking around various mausoleums and, uh, and crypts that are just dotted here and there throughout the City of the Dead. It's a large area. Um, but as you're walking, you do notice that there is something kind of shambling about. Um, Coming around one of the corners of the of one of the crypts, you do notice that there is a figure 
with no skin or anything, except bones. Just bones. Nothing but bones. Oh no! Dim bones, dim bones, dim. Dim bones. Sacred flame. It's a meatless zombie. Well, it is a meatless zombie. It's a vegan zombie. No meat. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh no! Yes! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> a nat 1 and a nat 20. I'll be my only one, don't worry. We had that yesterday as well, like fucking... Used, so... Shay just rolled a nat 1 while everyone else rolled like fucking 20-something. <laughs> she rolled several nat 1s. I rolled... Yeah, she did not have a good day. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. I hated it. And so then your much. healer got crit. And everybody left him to bleed out. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I was raging. I had to hit stuff. Oh, like, it's yeah. fine. You couldn't do anything. It was just like, well, time to go. I just like, the, I'm not the only healer, right? And everyone's like, mm, yep. yeah. yeah you are. It, was, it, was it was pretty funny, funny considering because... today we have nothing but healers. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, but that's what happens when you are. Not just the healer, but a sorcerer, and you ran ahead of everybody, and, you know, he got shot, and it just happened to be a critical, and so... Mm -hmm. Beer trivia number two! Medley, you're what, up what, first! What species of kangaroo? I'm up first. There's a, meat, there's a meatless zombie in front of you. Meatless zombie, meatless zombie. From the makers of... Make yourself five, ten. Necromancer Steve. Thirty. Point. I'm gonna crossbow that one. All right. So like, the the hand flops down at the wrist, and the little crossbow mechanism pops out, and it fires a bolt. That'll hit. Okay. There's that one on the other side. There's that one. I bet that's side. gone. Uh, for six damage. <laughs> All right. So. You see the skeleton just like start to shamble out. Um, uh, the wrist pops down. You fire the bolt, and it just goes thunk, straight through the skull. And the skull turns, and there's this this bolt just like sticking straight through it. I got it. Right, so... Uh oh. I'm not going dead last, so there's that. <laughs> this one runs out, sees. Sees Medley there. Knocks an arrow and fires. Does a 17 hit? Uh, yes. Um, five piercing. Ow. It's what I would say if I felt pain. <laughs> and then this one with the, with the bolt sticking through his skull also fires. Does an 11 hit? Nope. Okay. Elizabeth, you're up. They apparently have the know-how to use bows. Everyone, in cover! Just gonna preferably shift onto that corner. Then cast Bless on everyone except her. Okay. My god, uh, I need a drink. You guys deal with this. You accidentally cast Bane, which three times... <laughs> oh, you did oh, cast oh. Bane. Oh no! <laughs> Oh fuck, I did too. <laughs> I need everybody to make Christmas <laughs> Like, oh no, that wasn't even a joke, you did. You killed us all. <laughs> You're still uh, drunk. You're two for two on, on wiping hey, the party. Hey, I pumped some uh, anti-intoxicants into myself. That's fair, you did. I was about I mean, to you say... did for the character, but not you. <laughs> yeah, not me. <laughs> that, that's fair, though. Um, I was going to have you roll a uh, or flip a coin and see if you actually did cast Bane, but... I kind of want to take that low fucking that con save or like something stupid, but I already wasted a second level spell, so I won't vote vote for it. All right. Uh, so yeah, okay. your discretion, bane or bless. <laughs> Roll me a d one hundred. Uh, it's bless. Okay, oh, cool. 
three lower, and it would have been Maine. <laughs> I, gave, I gave it one third chance. Um, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. This boy is going to shuffle up, and he'll move up here, and also fire at Mipley. Leave her alone. She's adorable. No, Martin. Martin does not hit. Okay. Lime, you're up. Uh, I am going to... I cannot get you any goddamn thing. Um... Double blue. So I'm going to use... That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my... What's my movement? 35? Yeah, because I'm a short little shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to move, what, 70? 70 feet? Uh, did I yep, do the math right? Move. Yep. To... Mm. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to move all the way up there. Alright. Full movement. Move, double move. Uh, any bonus action mm-hmm. you want to use? That was, um, nope. Alright. I'm going to regret that, but nope. Two. Okay. So two skeletons are going to see you around the corner. You're going to take two arrows at you. That's a miss. Does a 16 hit? I think, it, yes, it just hit. Alright. Uh, someone pull up the fumble chart for me, please. Nope, oh, one second. And then this one will... I'll roll the D100. Back up. 25! 25. Is that uh, ranged? Ranged. Okay. You lose your balance while attacking. You fall prone and your movement is reduced to zero. Oh, okay. He might not move. Dexterity, why not? Hmm? Is that a dexterity save? No, it just, so it just falls. Happens? It just happens. He just falls. He hasn't he hasn't been undead for a while. Hmm. <laughs> He's still getting used to his undead feet. Yeah. He was in the morgue and this crazy bitch tried to get drunk with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just one of the charred corpses. Uh, Just right. hate me. Eleanor. Okay, move my forty feet. Boop. Shit, that'll still get a line. I mean, it won't hurt her, but... She can take it. She's nimble. Alright, well, she's gonna go there and... Yeah, so that I can get to this guy. We'll cast Fairy Fire. Alright, mark the area for me. It's 20 feet, right? Yeah. So you want... What color do you want it? Uh, green. Just just nice, pretty green. A nice, toxic green. <laughs> Fungal green. <laughs> right there? Uh, over... Towards that one in the other side more. I'm trying to get his right. mid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right there. Alright, Lion, make me a dexterity save. Alright. Oh, DC is 15. One. And I have Bless, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alright. Ooh. 13. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so fail, 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 succeed, fail. One. Alright. 
So there's a burst of bright green flickering flames and uh, several of them are glowing. <laughs> Get Rex scrubs. Sorry, lie. <laughs> she succeeded, just barely. <laughs> this one. This one's gonna move. And it draws a sword and is gonna try to stab line. It's a thirteen oh, hit. No. no, a thirteen does not. No, right. thirteen does not hit. I had to double check. <laughs> <laughs> Medley. Uh, I will continue firing crossbow bolts. Um, I am going to give uh, Lime Bardic inspiration and then fire another crossbow bolt. Okay. I'll probably move a little closer to it. I have. I have uh, I'm going to shoot the one behind Lime. Uh, this one or this one? The one behind Lime. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Seven. Uh, Boy, nine with advantage have, have and nine. add your bless. I didn't add bless. Uh, nine with advantage and uh, 13. Ooh, 13 will hit. 13 will hit. And just, just barely. Four, nine. Hey, your buffs worked. We did it, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, you knock off uh, a few of these bones with another uh, another shot. Uh, anything else? Nope, I am good. All right. So, one, two. All right. They're both going to. See, the next two are just going to run up and try a stab. 20 to hit, and 21 to hit. Yep, those will both hit. And that was that one, and... Yeah, second one had advantage, but... 11? Yep, 11. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be 21. Might want to leave. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're up. Yeah. Wrong tab. So, she's like pursed up against the wall. Yeah, they're blessed. They'll be. Wait a minute. Looks around the corner. Right, we're fighting on dead. Those motherfuckers. She takes out her mace, grabs her shield, then fucking charges in. Double move. All right. The undead has awakened the Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Into flanking range, and that's my turn. <laughs> gotcha. This is going to scoot up. Take another swing. All trying to dogpile, bonepile on, on line. 20 to hit for eight. Yep. She's down. Oh no! Make me a death save. Spore druid, what are you doing? You're our tank. <laughs> uh, look, she's the, the one that ran what? out ahead of everybody. Hey! You wake what up. Nice. <laughs> you wake up with one hit point, and you have your action. Just immediately, like ah no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Just like does that thing is. where they fucking throw themselves in the air and flick upwards. <laughs> Kinda. Um, question, instead of taking my action, can I use my bonus action instead to you be flurry of blows? You have your full turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, make, um, you make death saves at the start of your turn. Uh, the natural 20 brings you up to 1, so you have your entire turn. Okay, so, um... You are prone. This one... Uh, it's okay, I can stand up, I'm not moving anywhere. Yep. Um... I'm going to go after this one with 
my uh, uh, my quarter staff. I'm just gonna kind of like round on him mm -hmm. and just like smack him like in between the ribs. Okay. Uh, 22, 25 will hit, because you got flanking with him. Roll damage. That'll be four bludgeoning. Um, and okay. then on the same guy, I'm going to use a key point to do my flurry of blows. So it'll be two unarmed strikes. Uh, okay. Uh, which so one that'll are you be The same one. The, the one between uh, Elizabeth and I. Your staff scatters oh, that rib cage. Oh, uh, then the one right next to it. Okay. Uh, that is a 14 hits. Um, so that'll do uh, six. Six damage. And instead of taking the second hit, I'm going to use my healing hands uh, to cure myself one D4. Go for it. I don't have that set up on my character sheet. So I will seven hit so I heal for seven. Nice. You heal. You scatter one's rib cage, uh, jab another one, and then heal yourself in one swift fluid motion. After kipping up, of course. And I think that is thing that I can do. Yeah, that's my turn, my bonus action. Alright. Let me just make sure I read that right, because that healing can't is a little. I think as you substitute one of the attacks. Yeah, you can replace one of the unarmed strikes and use this feature. Yeah, okay, I did it right. Alright, so the next two, these two will move from there, and they're going to take two shots at the cleric running up. First one eight. hits, second one misses. Take six damage. Yep, easy. Eleanor, it's your turn. Oh my god, everybody's done. <laughs> <laughs> she just like runs in like a... Uh, 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 there we go. Let's see, then I will shillelagh the quarter staff and give it the old boop. Eight magical. You also scatter this one. Yeah. Are any of them looking pretty not good? Other than the two that are now obliterated. Um, the only one that appears to have. Eh, it's actually hard to tell they're undead. They're walking bones. Mm. They all look awful. Did that save my reaction? I'm sorry? So then I will save my reaction. Okay. Uh, this one's dead. Mm-hmm. Emily, you're up. I will start moving forward. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Just starts playing the Terminator theme as you walk close. Waiting for her to die to get the most value out of my healing. <laughs> Too bad. The grave, Too grave bad. cleric is like, shit, tears up a ticket. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. To be fair, oh. my grave cleric would do well in fucking Saturday, uh, Friday's <laughs> game for you guys. Really poorly in a game where everyone has healing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I finished my movement over here. Okay. 
I mean, to be fair, Lime doesn't, so, you know. <laughs> what? Lime has healing, yeah. She's a yeah. way of the messy monk. Oh, that's right. I just healed myself for seven. I rolled my, uh, my Mac. Yeah, this one's no. gonna... Going to move up and attack the line. Natural 20. Yep, that'll hit. <laughs> Seven damage, and this one's going to. You healed, and they're on. Let me check their intelligence score. Yeah, no, this one spins around and attacks you. Uh, Oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not a natural. That is some shit damage, but goddamn good attack rolls. <laughs> yeah. uh, that'll hit. Yeah. All right. So three damage. If it was smart, it would have kept using the flank. <laughs> See, let me check something. Nope. Six intelligence. Uh, Elizabeth. Well, You're since everyone else ruined my plan and. Uh, plan and healed, I suppose. Fucking get a mace of that motherfucker! Go for it! No, not bad. <laughs> Roll damage. Hey, bludgeoning! Uh. It is vulnerable to bludgeoning. You see that your mace, uh, does a significant amount of damage, and this one scatters. Just crush his skull in! <laughs> Pretty much. So, is he dead or? He's dead. Yeah, sick. Elizabeth will then move up onto this corner, providing a decent flanking opportunity for someone if they need it. Alright. Bully this nerd. Line her up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, attack the one between me and uh, Medley with my uh, quarter staff, two handed. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Two. For nice. four bludgeoning. Uh, eight damage will destroy it. Right. Can I move and use my bonus action? Uh -huh. Yes. Or does it all have... Okay. Uh, then I will... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And I will... Um, use another key point to do Flurry of Blows on that guy, why not? Okay. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Uh, that hits. So it'll be five bludgeoning, and then I'm just gonna use my other one to heal myself, and I'm just... All right. Still standing. That that second unarmed strike I just used for damage. I okay. didn't actually hit it again. Right. I used it for my healing hands, which is the easiest way. That's fair. Right. So you ran up into their faces. Now these two are going to go. Uh, which one's going first? This one will move here. And attack. 22 for four piercing. And second one attacks. 15? Does a 15 hit? It's attacking me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, 15 does not. The 21 does. Alright, so, four piercing damage. Eleanor. Eleanor Dubois. Oh my god, why does this keep happening? Hmm. And I'll give that skilling man who wasn't fairy fire mark the good old whooping. Go for it. Hits. Ooh. Hi ya, a living magical. You baseball bat, it's all off. Alright. And the body just collapses. Medley! Back to me. Uh, zoop around this side. And I will crack them. You 
with my not budgeting object. If I crack them, I mean I crack a joke. And she goes, rattle them, boys. <laughs> God, it's always a one whenever somebody tries to vicious mockery. <laughs> That's not the best part of it, though. It's not. You know? Did you kill him with it? I killed him with kindness. Oh my god, double one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Double uh, one! Alright. Um, he takes a little bit of damage. Just a repost of the spell descriptions there. Yep. Look, it's a one again. <laughs> it <doesn't laughs> changed. <laughs> And I mean, can it can it really be anything other than a one? I just checked, and yeah, I, I rolled a three that time. But yeah. no, it's it's always a one. Yeah, the, the skeleton just kind of turns around, does that what gesture? What? <laughs> what? But it has disadvantage on its next attack. Uh, Elizabeth, you're up. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elizabeth, fucking. Does a bit of a twirl with her mace and then fucking runs up and uh, tries to rail this guy. Go for it. Uh, 15 with advantage because of fairy fire. Fairy fire, fire yeah. That does it. Fucking, sorry. Yelling at my brother. Yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Due to its stupid vulnerability, you shatter it. You hear several cracks as the as the mace comes down on it, bone shatter, and it just collapses in a heap. And that is all of them. So it would seem. <gasps> Man, that was so cool. We should do this more often. I agree. Do I see a necromancer? Anybody else around, or just the skeletons? Uh, you see, uh, drawn by the. Uh, actually, make me a. Uh, give me a perception check. Natural twenty. Yes. You see uh, some footprints, uh, mostly the the footprints of these skeletons, uh, very like half one boot, then bony feet. Um, but it it's not far uh, until you come upon a crypt that has been uh, forcibly opened, uh, and you do notice that there are footprints leading off in the opposite direction, um, to even footprints. Uh, uh, two footed, uh, booted, even footprints. Um, and then coming from the opposite direction as, you know, as the skeletons, um, coming up behind as you're looking at these, you see, uh, uh, uh you see Ambrose, Everdon, running up, uh, mace in hand, uh, clutching the holy symbol with another, like, I heard fighting. I saw skeletons. Yeah. They're all smashed. I got you too, mate. Yeah, or, but you just in time, the, necromancer. The, the necromancer went uh, that way. Uh, he looks down. I pointed. Yeah, he's seeing the tracks. Elizabeth, with her newfound interest in murdering undead, she's gonna jump in and, like, really try and focus on, on those tracks. Are they giving assistance with survival or just doing it herself? Sorry? Yep, there you go. No, I was going to Oh no, he would help, yeah. Um, yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, so the tracks lead off and out of the City of the Dead. They start going onto pavement and the trail starts to, starts to fade. Ugh. By kill him for we just missed him. That's all right though. Yes, we will by fight Thor's him. banjo. What was that? I said yes, by Thor's banjo. The banjo would make a great addition to my flute and your 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 bagpipe. Indeed, 
I actually come with many instruments. And then she just, like, pops out all of them, like the one-man band ensemble. <laughs> Uh, you see the, uh, um, Ambrose, uh, slides the mace back into, uh, back into place. It's like, well, uh, that's all right. I, I have a means of tracking them, but you all have helped me significantly. Uh, this was the quickest I have ever come upon, uh, upon the culprit. This um, is the quickest you have ever come upon? I'm just one person. We can see about, you know, making a new personal best. I have a question. Did, you know, us finding your your bad guy quicker than anything, does that, you know, pay gold? Money. Compensation. We helped you. It does. Hooray. If you are willing to help me patrol for the next uh, uh, several days, Sure. Uh, 100 gold each. Oh. Yep, done. 125 gold each. <laughs> Persuasion check. Do it, do it. <laughs> Renegging the bargain. Dollars. Listen to her. Uh, you said persuasion? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> 100 gold each. 100 115 <laughs> gold each. Because I should do the persuasion. <laughs> I'm also going to inspire myself. Oh, wait, I still have Bless as well. <laughs> ah! I still had inspiration. You did still have inspiration. It, was, it would have been, what, a d6? I don't think it would have made 115 gold. <laughs> At disadvantage. Oh, uh, that's rude. <laughs> you already <laughs> tried. That's rude. Uh, oh, well, minimum. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. At disadvantage, it's still a 10. Yes, it's still a 10. So it so becomes 14, 16, 14, 20, 24. 24. Yes, you beat the 20 DC. <laughs> 115. That is just rude. <laughs> Done, damn it. Yeah. Let's kill the undead. <laughs> oh my gosh, Medley's been around Lime too much because Lime tries to get money out of everything. <laughs> Right. We get a, we get to be uh, we get money and to kill undead. Assist this is me, like the greatest job ever. Assist me for a ten day, uh, and it'll be one hundred and fifteen gold for each of you. Deal. Done like dinner. Done. She you up it. got it, <laughs> dude. All right. Um, but uh, to to kind of fast track it. Uh, what are your all plans for the rest of this 10 day? Doing this work. Oh, bringing the spell book to uh, Rishal to see if he can, like, sell the spells out of it for money. For money. Like, for money, wizards. Copy our spell. No, that's right. He was bringing it to Calendria to see if she can identify everything. Um, so also, we know what kind of spells to sell. Odaya, what, uh, the cleric of Ukraine, I think. Is interested. Yeah, there's a there's a few people who who would be interested. Are you trying to? Who are you trying to sell it to? The highest bid. <laughs> oh my gosh! Everybody's down. been around Lime too long. All right, Lime, take another uh, Eleanor, Eleanor, used you. To be a, Eleanor used to be a noble. She misses money. Okay, she would like it back. <laughs> and yet, you only Eleanor knows how much Lime is in debt right now. Eleanor's like, don't worry, I. I had to sell all three of the horses. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so remind me what spells are in there. Good question. <laughs> we were not told. Yeah, we, we do not know. To take it to Kalendria to have it identified. Are you paying her? She did it once out of courtesy. Uh, depends on how much she asks, but yes. Uh... I will, I will get the Haggletron 3000 to help bring the cost down if I need to. Yeah, let me, let me play it. Let me pull up. Let's go. Please work your, work your Warforged magic. <laughs> Takes out the knife. Identify the spells. <laughs> she 
she will charge 10 gold to identify it. Okay, she will hand that over. Easy. Alright. Totally easy. Uh, you hand it over. The spells in that particular book. Got that on the Harper mission. Oh, here we go. The hop. The hop. The most so, secretive organization. Nobody's a wizard, so I'm not going to bother picking out the spells for you. Uh, but uh, you would be able. Who do you take it to? Hmm. I think she. Uh, what's the highest level spell in the book? Not 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 what it the is, highest, but the level. yeah, the highest level spell would be a level two spell. Okay. There's four le four level one spells, two level two. I guess whoever would offer more gold for it. She tells them that yeah, there's that she doesn't know what spells because she's not arcane inclined, but there's two second level and four first levels. Uh, you can take it to Rishal, who would probably ask two hundred gold, it, maybe. Isn't there a bookstore in town, there like is. right in our little area? Right near yeah, little area, that's Rishal. The bookstore oh, okay. is treasure. Um, he's willing to buy it for 200 gold. Okay, and the Joaquin priest wanted it too? Uh, if you go, are you going to ask her? Yeah. She will offer... She will offer 25 platinum. Uh, that's like 250 cold, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. You'll make it up to the books there, uh, store bloke. Exactly. I have new spells that can help scribe. I was looking down, he didn't even see my wink, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's two days in a row I've failed the fucking wink. <laughs> I'm shit at this. <laughs> Roll for wink. Roll for mm. All right. So are you doing anything else or just doing the patrol for the 10 day? Just the patrols oh. and uh, the lime wants to go make more. I don't know what lime wants to do. Uh, yeah, I got stuff to do. Does anybody else have things they want to do? What you doing? I am going to... Um, make a more of my Purple Freedom. I forgot that was the name. That's awesome. Um, and I want to get Eleanor to help me plant some of the shrooms that I have on my wall so that I can grow the shrooms myself. Hopefully, okay. possibly. Mm -hmm. Um, I also need to pickle my gazer eyes. Because okay. I don't remember what they do. Um, I think that's all I want to do. Because I'm not going to go check out that villa on my own. Okay. So. You... And help out around the inn and the hospital as much as I have. Gotcha. Uh, so you keep yourself busy. I need one alchemist check for the, the purple freedom. Eat. This one does not go so well. Um, you feel like you 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 experiment a little bit, but you unfortunately don't make enough progress. Um, Zardazor does come by, but he'll allow you more time. Um, you managed to get the purple into the drug, but you don't you manage did. to get the drug into the drug. <laughs> um, now roll me a, a herbalism with your wisdom. Oh. You manage 
courage to start cultivating uh, a batch of, uh, of these mushrooms that you require all along the walls, uh, along some of the ground, and you have an entire section of this basement dedicated to mushrooms with ease. Not a problem at all. And then one more alchemist with your intelligence to preserve the gazer eyes. Okay. Twelve. Uh, how many did you did you get before? One. Was it just one gazer eye? No, I got. Oh, I have four altogether. Okay. Uh, you managed to preserve three of them. One of them doesn't go so well. But okay. you, get mo you get most of them preserved. Okay. Because I don't know if I'll have time to work on them because player does not remember what else they need to do whatever. And that's fair. Uh, but, uh, and then for the sake of brevity, the 10 days going to go by. There's going to be no other instances of this necromancer about um, you all get paid the 115 gold each, and, uh, Eleanor, you get another rank in, in, uh, the Emerald Enclave. Yay. Oh, I also want to go around to each of the players and beg for In what? And beg for money. Oh, I give her a hundred gold because I have no need for money. Um, also, would I be able to maintain the hospital in that ten day? Like, during the day? No. Uh, the... <laughs> yeah, the... If you're going to be doing the patrol, you're going to be busy doing that. Um, you, can do, you can do smaller tasks, like along the side, but that's where you're putting your focus in. Like, keep it maintained and all that, but I can't actively take patients. Yes. Fair enough. You're, you're not going to be making any money through the hospital this week. Um, are all of our ten days with the Kellenvall cleric? Yes. Okay, can I just make a... Um... I'm a dumbass for asking for a charisma check on this character, but can I just like, you know, vaguely just talk about uh, talk about how great Kalimvor is every other day to try and also get a bit of that favor? He is excited to talk about Kalimvor. <laughs> Fucking oath. Uh, persuasion check or? Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> so. It's not that you're, you're, it's not that you're I know about the subject about matter. Stuff. I'm just really boring. <laughs> well, no, he, it's not that you're really boring. It's that he will not stop talking once you get him starting talking about Kellen Bohr. And he is talking over you, and he's not allowing you a chance to do much of anything, but he's excitably, excitably uh, describing his exploits in service to in, in service to Kellenvor and how much uh, and and what an honor it is to to uh, uh, cleanse the world of undeath and and provide uh, provide safe passage for the souls to whatever afterlifes they need to go to yeah I can get on that bandwagon I'm happy you're, you're mostly listening that's okay <laughs> mostly listening <laughs> Mostly listening. Uh, what do you all do then? Or what is your next... Hmm. You know, guys, I think we should give Lime all your money and then go check out that villa. I, mean, I, I have gave, a need I for my money. Dead I gave you a hundred, so... Yeah, yeah, Medley's good. She just watches me sleep. It's true. Um, another thing I'd like to do at some point in time is try and pay off some contacts to go and... 
like scout out, giving me some information, all that fun jazz. This can be during the 10 day or after I'm happy doing other one. Information on... The Viper. The Viper. Um, so... And specifically, I'll be looking into my criminal contacts as a pirate. <laughs> so you want to look into your criminal contacts instead of... Uh, okay. My cleric contacts, I suppose. Yeah. Well, no, well, uh, you were, you were... Let's see, you... Let me read this again. Uh, Notorious thief called the Black Viper apparently returned to Waterdeep, has already robbed a dozen noble estates. No one knows their identity because they wear a mask, but it's reported in the Waterdeep Wazoo that they're a noble. The Waterdeep Wazoo. Find out what else the Broad Street Publisher knows. So, yeah, they they were just asking you to go talk to the the, the Broad Street Publisher. Um, but yes, you can you can try to gather information. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Yep, or that is better than persuasion. <laughs> yep. Hey, not bad. Okay, so do you do you go to the the water deep wazoo to ask about that? Um, yeah. Okay. In doing so, she'll try and just act like a really curious fan. She doesn't want to lead on that she's a cleric or we'll, we'll specifically get to that. Um, like connected to the law. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, with the twenty investigation, you will find that uh, that the black viper tends to. Uh, Tends to target uh, wealthy nobles and and uh, anyone who's who tends to be of the upper echelon of uh, society. You also gather that uh, that they are a skilled fighter, um, as uh, anyone who has tried to uh, combat them has failed miserably. Um, you also pick up that normally just revealing the mask is enough to to cause nobles to throw gold at their feet and run away. Do I get any hint of possibly being a copycat kind of criminal? You That's a very broad question. I do apologize. Yeah, you pick <laughs> up that. You pick up that uh, it is. Uh, the Black Viper is female, and you pick up that uh, a lot of people seem to think, or a lot of your underworld contacts seem to think that uh, she is she is mimicking a, a dead criminal. Um, uh, other people, a uh, more superstitious bunch, or those um, who think maybe they've been brought back to life, uh, or have been in hiding, uh, or and are one of those long lived races. Others believe that it's the same person. Well, it's not unreasonable to be. Well, an elf, for example, could be fucking. Yeah. A hundred years is piss all to them, so they could have just gone in hiding. Yeah, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. okay. Oh, well, uh, Elizabeth was supposed to talk to what's her face. To see about getting a griffin to try and find that nimble right. That is true. Oh yeah, I was horribly drunk during that conversation. <laughs> You'll probably have to remind her. Um, but you go to um, you. You're able to find the water deep wazoo isn't far from where you live. Uh, um, but going up to the door. Um, okay. Okay, going up to the door, they don't, they don't allow you just to walk in. Can I help you? I, I'm a very curious reader. And yeah. Look, um, one story I think just... I get these papers out. Um, uh, Mr. Redderbest is going to be very angry if I don't, if I don't get on that. just kind of grabs him and puts him up against the wall. <laughs> okay. Are we with you, or did you go alone? That's up to you, I suppose. <laughs> Medley will pop up. Elizabeth would have been like, I'm Medley, going over to the pub, then to the buzzer. <laughs> Medley will, will just kind of like, pop up at the side of Elizabeth and just be like, we insist. 
and I will try to persuade them, yes. because that is what uh, I'm here sorry. for. Okay. I am truly captivated by the recent story you have been spinning on the Black Viper. Oh yeah, how they've stolen my heart. Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna... You're... Sixteen? Mm -hmm. Talk to Mr. Uh, Rudderbust. Um, he's inside. And as you... Uh, as he says that... Um, uh, someone is... There's a high elf walking by. Um, and she pauses and says, Excuse me. Um, I'm looking for... Have you seen a... a uh, dragon, blue dragonborn fellow. I'm looking for my new husband. We just got into water deep the other day. Um, came from far away. Elizabeth kind of just releases the bloke from his, <laughs> from the wall where she pinned him. <laughs> um, no, this doesn't sound familiar. Medley, I don't suppose you've heard of anything along these lines? Medley is definitely not wearing a dragonborn face. Adragos rounds the corner. Nope. Can't say that I've seen any blue dragonborn. Oh dear. I'll have to... Alright. Thank you. Um, she turns and starts heading uh, uh, off the spirit uh, trap. But dear, do... We'll certainly keep an eye out. That is... if I, I can't say I've seen many blue dragonborn. It should be in oddity in this city. If we happen to see some, we might be in touch. I'd appreciate it. Uh, we were staying at the Spirit Tap last night. I just need to locate him. Oh, I remember you. You were sitting off into the corner and you we left after money. I got drunk and got into that punch on of the young fellow. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, but uh, I'll be there for another day. I'm sure he's fine. I know he's. Uh, not sure he's just a little busy. I'll. Okay. I have to go. I need to. I have things to do. And you see her uh, hoist a, a rifle up on her arm. She spins around and keeps walking. Ta ta! Y you turn around and the paper boy is gone. Yeah, he's liked it. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, the door shit. is open. Yep, Elizabeth will wander on in. Uh, inside and there is, kind of... uh, uh, as you make your way into the office, uh, uh, or you make your way through this building, you see people who are, uh, who are working furiously, moving back and forth. Um, you see a, you see a, a small gnome standing on a, uh, um, on a, uh, a crate. He's like shouting orders, like, get those papers out. We need to, we need to let the people know. All right, um, hmm. uh, and he hops down and just like runs off and starts getting orders everywhere else. Very high strung, very high energy. Um, but he spins around and he's like, yes, what are you doing here? You're here to deliver me pictures. Where are my pictures? Okay, I've not got nothing of that description in my inventory. You're fine, um, get out. Spins I do apologize. I'm, I'm not an employee. You're not? Purely... Well, I need help. You're hired. What can I do? I need pictures. Pictures of, uh, of the Black Viper. You know what she looks like. Uh, you've seen her before. Now, uh, I want, I, I want them, those pictures on my desk by, um, by uh, noon to what, today. Who is the lead journalist on this story? I require more information. Who is what? The lead journalist on this story. Oh, this is my project. Now... Now where, are those, now, where are those pictures? You're taking too long. You're fired. Get out. Spins around. <laughs> hmm. Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm going to call in the bad reputation card from my background. Okay. Elizabeth just kind of grabs him by the face, covering his mouth. He's pretty small. I have a decent strength and athletics. Picks him up and carries him off. Like into the street just for a quick word. Make me <laughs> and an I'll happily make me an athletic check. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, young man. <laughs> <laughs> you you scoop him up. He's like, I'm not young. I am. I am the the proprietor of this of this establishment. I am Gaxley. 
<laughs> she walks straight back out into the street and puts him where she was holding the other young man. He, there are... Uh, everybody who's working in there just, like, does, like, the head turn as you walk out. That's okay. Okay. As, a, as said, I have a bad reputation. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not helping it. What are you doing? Unhand me. Put me down. I've got work to do. In a moment, dear friend. I don't have a moment. I just have this instant. We're... This instant right now. We're curious as to what you know about the Black Viper. Who is writing these stories? How are you getting this information? This is this is, I, uh, this is uh, the Walter Deep Wazoo. We can get the information to the people. Uh, you need to put me down right this instant. Not until you tell us what we want to know. What do you want to know? Information about the Black Viper. The Black Viper? Oh, the Black Viper. Um, she has a secret. You know, uh, there's a. Uh, we will get you pictures of the Black Viper if you tell us. Fantastic. I want those pictures on yes. the desk by noon this t- by noon today. Uh, My dear companion is capable of taking photos. Is, yeah, I, I don't actually know what photos are. Yeah, <laughs> um, he doesn't know that. Um, uh, there's rumors that she is the evil twin sister of Amelia Castlehanter, and she wears a mask to hide a disfigurement on the left side of her face. That sounds serious. Quite serious. Now give me those pictures! And he hops down and runs back inside. No, I'm sorry, what did you say her last name was? Amelia something Castle or other. Yeah. The evil twin sister of Amelia Castle Anto. Okay, he was certainly an eccentric one. Now I suppose we work out who the fuck Amelia Castle Lantern is. Processing but... data banks. Castle Lanterns are nobles within water deep. That data is true. bank empty. <laughs> uh, but we will pick up from here next week. We are just at that mark. Well, great game, everybody. I hope everyone enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. it was good fun. I'm sorry I did not in- to introduce uh, the High Elf and her Dragonborn earlier, but there was a lot going on. Like getting pictures of Spider-Man. Like getting pictures of Spider-Man. So, uh, that has been it for this episode of uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist. We will pick up here next week. My players are making progress. There's skeletons that are that are broken. There's there's dragons that are met and more to be found. I still have to figure out what happened, what's going on with that fireball, and uh, we will find out here in further episodes. Woo! Well, have a great night, everybody. Yeah.